I guess it's more of a standardization uh, to how everyone looks, but still customized to everyone's identity. Only real content is gonna last. All that other nonsense is here today and gone tomorrow. Kind of answer openly, just what do you think about the future of fashion? So, that's a tricky one. Because I think it, um, my view on that changes every day, depending on how well my day went. Um, <laughs> but I would say in general, it is a lot more... Hmm, how do I put it this way? So people are definitely much more comfort driven uh, in terms of how they approach clothes as a society, I think. Um, it is much closer to individual identity expression than it ever has been before. Um, and there is much more of an element of instant gratification. So anything that we make um, not only needs to show up well in the shop, not only does it need to perform well in a video or a catwalk, but also it needs to look great in one still flat photo cropped into a square on Instagram. Yeah. And in a way, it's, um, you know, it's an interesting challenge because you need something that pops right at that moment and that's it, that's all the chance you get. But at the same time, it also can be very restrictive because that's why there are so many more graphic t-shirts and much less um, risk, I think, designers are taking with overall body shapes. Uh, things are fitting closer to the body because also the camera is much closer to the body these days. Um, so that's kind of, I think, where we're heading aesthetically kind of like a more, I guess it's more of a standardization uh, to how everyone looks, but still customized to everyone's identity. Um, and then in terms of like business wise, like it's no secret, all of the large companies are monopolizing everything. You know, mm -hmm. even the designers are all joining groups. Um, it's not just the fashion industry. It's the whole world. All big companies are monopolizing. I mean, if you look at, hey, Google, Facebook, hey, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it does, it does make me wonder where that puts a lot of young individ uh, creative individuals. Um, I feel like in terms of employment, you know, having a big structure, having a lot of employment related policies, that could be a good thing. But then I do wonder if that's going to come at a sacrifice for free expression and being able to actually manage smaller projects, but still effective and take big risks with those projects. Because in the end, larger companies are less inclined to take big risks because it's much more difficult to reach a consensus. Uh, in terms of sustainability, I don't know. It's it's one of those things where I just have to be hopeful um, because it's, we're in such a bad position right now globally. Uh, and it's no secret that the fashion and textile industry is number two after petrol in terms of how pollutant we are. Um, I mean, I'm grateful that I'm working for a company who's under caring, who, uh, the caring group who has a really committed stance on converting brands to be more sustainable. Um, and it's something that is heavily pushed. We have a sustainability consultants that works with all of the caring brands as well. Uh, that kind of pushes us towards the direction. But then at the same time, I don't know if that's going to be quick enough, if that's going to be enough for the planet. Um, and there is a difference in terms of what people are able to do. So like I said before, big companies, they have much more resources to be able to achieve it, to make things truly sustainable. But at the same time, they it's much more difficult for them to commit and to reach consensus. The small companies are in a better position because of their flexibility. You know, They can start fresh in a way, but then they need to be able to find investment somehow and that doesn't always align mm -hmm. um but you know fingers crossed everybody is thinking towards that direction and we do manage to you know 
get our shit together. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to tell when you're actually in it and you're, you know, kind of the day, the day to day creates a lot of obstacles. Uh, and I feel like the people who have the best view are the people who are able to look from afar. But yeah, those are my very scrambled thoughts on the future.